Hello everybody and welcome to uh, today's introduction video for our lesson today in social studies. And what we're going to be examining today is how the time period, what is known as the Jim Crow South, really becomes a thing that is not just uh, enforced by violence by groups like the KKK, which we've already seen, um, but it's going to start becoming a system of laws that really recreate these systems of racial separation and hierarchy. So again, quick review, um, the goal of Reconstruction was to create racial equality, to make sure that everyone was treated the same, that everyone had the same rights, the same opportunities, and that is the opposite of a system of hierarchy, which is, again, a worldview that's based on our good old pyramid structure here, where some people are considered to be at the top and better, and some people are considered to be at the bottom and worse or inferior than other people. This is the world view of racism, white supremacy, and pretty much every other system of oppression in the entire world. But specifically looking at racism, what the goal of white supremacy uh, was and still is, was to have people be in certain positions of power, specifically with people who are considered to be white, at top, in control, viewed as superior supremacy, and everybody else down here. And so the goal of the Jim Crow South was to make into law what the white supremacist groups like the KKK were doing through violence, to say white people are up here, black people are down here, and they're separated. And this line here is called the color line by historians. And what we're going to see is how this color line, keeping white people separated from black people in a position where they have more authority, power, and control in society, is going to be created into laws, not just uh, through violence and terrorism, but literal laws. And this is what we want to call the Jim Crow South. And in today's lesson, we're going to examine what that really was, who is this guy named Jim Crow, why is it even called Jim Crow, and what is segregation or separation, and some Supreme Court cases that really um, make this into a system of laws across not just the South, but the entire country in the United States. So that's what we're going to be looking at today, is how the United States, after Reconstruction, is defeated or killed by white supremacy, that this becomes the structure of the entire United States for a very long time. So I hope you find this uh, lesson interesting, helps you understand kind of what was the Jim Crow South segregation or racial separation, and how did it get to be that way after Reconstruction? So hope you have a great day, and you enjoy the lesson and find it interesting or helpful in your understanding of racism in the United States.